Please note the navigation features for this module. Select each arrow to know more about these features, or select Next to begin the module. Welcome to this module on the Applied Advanced Analytics Explorative Approach. The Global Advanced Analytics team collaborates with cross-functional teams from technical operations and manufacturing sites to optimize complex manufacturing processes, leveraging advanced analytics, new data technologies, and domain expertise. In this module, we will go through the approach that we will follow to apply advanced analytics in manufacturing. This approach enables us to identify data-driven insights to optimize manufacturing processes, thus leading to significant yield and throughput improvements. In this module, you will learn about the benefits of the AA, explorative approach, the different phases followed, and the key success factors. Let's begin by understanding the benefits of leveraging advanced analytics expertise and new data technologies. This enables to analyze large amounts of data generated in all steps of the production process, combine and process data from different sources and systems, including, for example, databases, batch records, machine sensors, among others, enrich data using various advanced analytics techniques. For example, in case of missing data or data granularity, apply statistical models to simulate the end-to-end -end process and provide data-driven insights on potential process improvement drivers, levers. We follow a data-driven approach, working in an agile way. This approach includes four phases. Scoping, store and analyze data on the AA cloud environment modeling and validation, and implementation. Select each phase to learn more. Now, let's look at each phase in detail. During the scoping phase, the focus is on understanding the end-to-end -end production process by working closely with the process SMEs. The next step is to understand the data landscape, including, for example, what data is available, where it is stored, and how to access it. Yield and throughput data are also collected in this phase to help quantify the potential improvement opportunity by analyzing high-level data variability. This data is commonly referred to as the target of the analysis. Finally, initial high-level hypotheses and focus areas are identified, and the business case is finalized. After finalizing the business case in the first phase, the next phase is to store and analyze data on the AA cloud environment. This phase includes collecting and analyzing large amounts of data from all steps of the production process. We work with the SMEs to build a detailed list of hypotheses with potential process improvement drivers. This is a critical step as it steers the data collection process and helps identify all key data that is relevant and required for the analysis. The data is typically collected from multiple sources and systems, including, for example, databases, batch records, machine sensors, etc. All the available data is combined for analysis on the AA cloud environment. As a last step, the raw data is transformed into numerous features of different complexity, which will be used for model building in the next phase. Note that complicated features are created by using an algorithmic approach and might include, among others, grouping continuous data into different categories or using features to identify the beginning and or end of individual process steps when this information is not available. The modeling and validation phase is the data modeling phase, which includes testing and implementing various analytic models using a modern cloud environment. This phase starts with developing the initial univariate models that focus on individual process steps. The feedback or inputs provided by the SMEs is used to fine tune these models. For example, change existing features or include new ones in the models. The last step of this phase includes developing the final model that connects all process steps end to end. 
The goal of this phase is to analyze complex relationships across the end-to-end -end process and identify hidden process improvement levers. The last phase includes the test and implementation of the identified improvement levers, together with the site, as well as tracking implementation progress and validation of the final impact. It is critical to verify there are no adverse effects after implementing the identified process improvement levers. Another important activity during this phase is ensuring the knowledge transfer handover to the local team and supporting the development of local data analytics capabilities. This enables further data analyses, explorations to be performed by the local teams. This AA approach has been applied to key manufacturing sites, leading to significant improvements in yield and throughput, together with a significant amount of new learnings about the end-to-end -end process. The key success factors include combining advanced analytics expertise and new data technologies with domain expertise in the sites, establishing a strong collaboration and trust between the cross-functional teams involved, ensuring transparency, interpretability of the analytics approach and models, enabling and embedding data analytics into daily operations, and using data to challenge and improve established knowledge. Here are the key points covered in this module. Take a few moments to go through them. Before we end this module, here are a few questions to check your understanding of the content covered. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this module.